Hi, here's another video today. Uh, this video is aimed at anybody who wants a good cam crank signal along with fuel pressure and an injector signal. So uh, I just thought folk are always searching online for good cam and crank uh, sync signals, uh, good ones anyway. And uh, this car's old, but uh, when you get it on the, the, the Veris, it says cam crank sync OK. So you can see there I've pinned into the injector with the red channel and then I went into the fuel pressure uh, sensor with the blue and then the cam and crank I've got the ECU. So as I say I'm catch capturing the four channels on the Veris and uh, I've got it out here but the best thing is that I'll capture it and I'll go inside because you get a better picture. So two seconds. Right. <coughs> so in this, the yellow trace is a crank sensor. The green trace is the cam sensor, the blue trace is the fuel pressure, and the red trace is the diesel injector. So you can see, this is, this is starting for cold, so where the yellow trace starts, that's the, that's the engine starting to turn over, so that's the crank sensor. So it's pick it, it, the engine is now turning over, and you can see along there that the, the cam sensor then changes its state, it goes to the high state. And at the same time, just at that point, the fuel pressure, which is blue, hits, starts to build. So, <clears throat> in order for a, a common rail diesel engine to go, uh, to fire its injectors, it needs to see the cam and the crank, and it needs the pressure to be high. So when I say pressure high, uh, on this car it has to see 1.3 volts, so we'll zoom in, and I'll show you that. So as soon as it sees 1.3 volts, which is at this bit, that's when the first injection event takes place, so that's when the injector is fired, and that's all the subsequent injector events as the red traces. So I'll zoom in on that and show you that. Let me see. Quite hard to do here. Let me see. I better go back out here. Bring this along. Oh dear. A disaster. So we'll come along to this stage. Here. It starts, we'll just zoom just about there. So I think maybe eight times. So that's the, the first injector event there. I'll tell you exactly the pressure. Go with that. So as you can see the blue trace is fuel pressure. So when it's live and it hits 1.39 volts, that's when the first injected event takes place. Uh, and you can see that, sorry, I meant to say the voltages for these. I've set the range for the injector 0 to 100 volts, but they, well, we can see there they roughly fire about 45 volts. The, the yellow trace, which is the, the crank sensor, that's a 0 to 5 volt wave. The cam sensor is a zero to oh, five volt wave yes and the fuel pressure is well be zero to five volts again but i think i think you can max it about four and a half volts on the fuel pressure so that's a, a good waveform and now i'll show you if you're looking for a, a good waveform a reference waveform that'll be the next capture with the engine running At the first injection event you can see that uh, the reds so and you can see the sink between the crankshaft and the camshaft, so that looks about one, two, three. Three bits of the cam back before this, the, the, like the missing two teeth, and the, the, the camshaft comes down and then it goes along and then goes back up, so that gives you a kind of reference point. So that's the initial start-up, but I'll show you one where it's actually the engine's running, so that'll give you a, a better idea for cam crank sink. sink. It's there with the uh, the car running, so you can see it's still that the injector's fired. So the camshaft on the green dips down, and it's about it's about two, it's about two notches uh, here, and it goes along and it comes back up uh, that. So before the like the missing teeth, so that'd be don't include that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that is. So that's 10 along there, so 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. So it's 2 before it, 
and then ten after the missing teeth event and back up and uh, see so you've got two injection pulses so we'll come along there and then you can see that bit repeats it again within the middle of the the, the camshaft sensor and then we go along again and you can see it's back to the same two before and ten after one three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah ten ten smaller ones along there so that gives a good waveform on a BMW E46 2 litre diesel Cheers.